I've been asked, where did this left is best come from? The adoption of the slogan left is best came in the wake of Donald Trump's, I think, election victory in 2016. There was a vandalism. I think it was of a school in Connecticut, if I remember correctly. That sounds right. Yep. So six years ago now, folks. Um, and the vandals had written, you know, down with Trump, left is best on there, which seemed like super weird thing for leftists to be writing. Yeah. Doesn't like, sound just, like us. It's just not a great left is best. Left is best. It just does not feel like a slogan that I, that that lefties would necessarily. It just seems a little bit. Yeah, it's a little left is the best. It's the greatest. It seems juvenile. It's like yeah. you know, like like when I say left, left has seems, the biggest schlong. Like it's, it's a basketball it's tournament. So, yeah, it's just. It's like I, I you know. Dunking on you with our left. We won the dodgeball game. I try and teach my kids. I'm like, was the book good? Yes, it was good. What was good about it? Well, it was just really good. And it, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like a child. Yeah. And it turned out to be uh, more or less a child. It was some a right winger who an was adult. trying to an adult uh, right winger who was trying to make um, leftists look bad, uh, but in fact, it didn't happen. And uh, now we have a story of uh, coming out of Minneapolis. I guess there's a place called Brooklyn Center there. Yep. I uh, wonder, you know, that's... I think the Vikings have uh, some uh, facilities there. And um, there was, like, this guy was hit with just a complete... <laughs> this is the best part about it. Can you show this picture? Do you have the uh, link? The there's a picture of his, of his garage. And it says, Biden 2020, BLM, do you see it? No, no, I want to show the picture. Just it's the in the article, first. yeah. Just scroll down. Um, the picture says Biden 2020, BLM, and then below the BLM after the Biden 2020 is, here, scroll down right there. Yeah, there's the picture. There it is, the anarchy symbol. You know, the classic anarchists who are like, Biden 2020, they yeah. love Biden. or anarchy, whichever one comes first. Right, like generally, anarchists are not so keyed into pushing Biden. But yeah, this this would this is the first clue I think for a lot of people. And then, uh, so this happened uh, months ago. There was um, he the the man, you know, there was a fire and it and it, and it subsumed his um, his camper. It happened uh, in September 2020, so in the lead up to the election. And that sounds like, I mean, if us leftists are doing this to this man we don't endorse that right completely do not endorse no. this um and also i would say if you're an anarchist pick a lane yeah. you're either you're either for anarchy or you're electioneering for joe biden Yeah. if you're going to vandalize somebody's garage at least let the political education be somewhat coherent exactly let's try and let's try and stay on the same page. message consistency please exactly none of this like tear down the system or vote for joe biden <laughs> Uh, but uh, apparently they have found a, another reason for this lack of coherence in the political message. Theater say a man who claimed that he was attacked for being a Trump supporter actually lit his own camper on fire so he could cash in on insurance. We were there to see the damage at Dennis Mola's Brooklyn Center home back in 2020. He said that someone started the fire and sprayed Biden 2020 BLM and an Antifa symbol on his garage door. Oh, oh, okay. Paul said he was trying to pause it. Hey. I got also gets a bad news. That is not the Antifa symbol, no, not is the it? Antifa that's symbol. The, but that's what he thought. But we it's know actually that's, what he thought. It's, that's not even the anarchy symbol, is it? Sort of. It's it's, it's, it's a it's approximation. A variant. It's a variant yeah. of the. Uh, hey, it's but, an A. Who cares? But you know, it, it is it is so like just the, you know, I've been saying uh, for years and years, but I think I said it yesterday, like. The aggrievement is so important. I know. To uh, he had a whole story in his head. I imagine, like, like he was, almost half believed it as uh, he was doing it to without himself. Without a doubt, <laughs> right? If it's not me doing this, they'll do it. I might as well get here first. And I might as well get the insurance uh, money because he it, he it, submitted insurance claims totaling over three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> it's a twofer. I get to be the victim and I get to get cash. I I I. 
I don't know, have any evidence of this, but I, if, if it came out that somebody, you know, in the neighborhood was like, Trump sucks, man. Uh, that, and, and, you know, because they saw his sign, sign and he yeah. did this, he's like, the, the, I, this is, I, I have a right to do this because they want to silence me by telling me that Trump sucks. It's the same thing. Yeah. He also, by the way, uh, yielded $17,000 from go, two GoFundMes. So. Yeah. BLM and an Antifa symbol on his garage door. Mola said he was targeted because he had Trump flags on his property. Investigators say that Mola did all the damage himself and got about $61,000 in insurance money, plus another $17,000 from a GoFundMe. He's charged with fraud. Yeah. That's fraud. Federal charges. Also, like, you set that on fire next to your house. You have kids. I mean, not that that shouldn't be the deterrent, but like, how do you, I mean, that is crazy. You're teaching your kids how to be uh, thrifty. You got to, for insurance fraud. Are we going to hear uh, anything from Tim Pool and <laughs> Steven Crowder who couldn't shut up about Jesse Smollett? Um, because I think that, you know, this is an interesting case that maybe they would be, if they're, if they really, you know, are consistent on this. Well, yeah. Hashtag Joe Biden 2020 and anarchy. <laughs> there you go. I mean, that is also instructive insofar as like how much. Right. This guy's trying to commit fraud. And how distorted their view of any ideology of any ideology is other than their own. Yeah. Like. I don't necessarily think that I would spray paint joe biden 2020 anywhere even on my own property never mind on others nor would i do the anarchy symbol not you know uh, since i was you know uh, a, a little young one but the idea that i would conflate these or that's I, on some level it is a reflection of their own ideology which has the, no coherence their media diet yeah and is and not just their media diet but like they they just subscribe to like totems and signifiers mm. and so at one moment it can be uh you know the budget deficit is the problem is is the problem the next moment it's guns the next moment it's like muslims are the problem the next moment it's transgender athletes are the problem there's no it is just a it's just a laundry list for them and so they pr they, they project this on other ideologies so there is no conflict between anarchy and joe biden 2020 yeah it's like you know how sometimes uh zombie movies are in and then like all of a sudden we're in a couple years where it's vampire movies yeah yes for them it's like muslims oh i guess now it's black people <laughs> totally yeah, trans people to um, totally but but the, it's also like a good indication of his of their own sense of simultaneous victimization and entitlement right i'm entitled to this insurance money because i'm a victim and if i'm not even actually a victim of anything i feel like one so i'm going to create that victimization by torching my trailer that blaze was huge huge <laughs> he did not like want any uh shred of that trailer left basically that's your aspiration is to be a victim of the scary left. <laughs> exactly. <Right. laughs> it is. It's I mean, it's, you know, all part and parcel of like, I mean, think about just even this applies to every like the the ammo sexual. OK, I understand people go hunting. I know a lot of hunters. Uh, I, I, I know some who just hunt because it makes them feel good and others who hunt because they take a deer for the year. And that's the, you know, 80 uh, percent of the, the meat and protein they'll have for the year. But when you're talking about guys, let's say, who will strap on their holster to go in to do their YouTube show, it, it is the same, like, it is, it is the aggrievement, it is the anticipation of somebody coming and attacking them and how that sort of feeds them and gives them a reason to live. Uh, it is, it is aggrievement in another form. It is like, sort of like, you know, the, the pre-aggrievement, uh, you know, uh, it, it's, it's fascinating. There is a... There's some, something wrong with the construction of their brains, uh, that they need this sense that they're being attacked. And if they're not being attacked, 
they will attack themselves well, as a way of seeming it. Or, well, they can only feel empowered in contrast to somebody else. I mean, is that not like a hallmark of the conservative mind? I, I, I think so, but that they have to pretend like that person's the aggressor. And it's either like they're like you're you're keeping me from talking because you're critiquing what I'm saying or wearing a holster is a presumption that someone's coming for you. And uh, they're really just fearful little babies. Honestly, it, it reminds me of being in high school when I was watching the X-Files all the time. And like the, the sort of mood you get in after you like sort of scared yourself with something. You're like imagining that it's it's projected onto the real world. Like, is that car following me or something like that? But that I feel like something you should grow out of as opposed to make a whole political identity out of it. But what are you going to do? I mean, you might just torture trailer. It's it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Men will literally torch their own trailers and commit insurance fraud rather than go to therapy. I wonder how he bought the spray paint. If uh, if he did that, if he was like following, covering his tracks. Oh or yeah, like cash that. only, bro.